Hey guys, I'm Saurav and in this video, let's talk about the video editing softwares that you can use for your PC or your Mac. Now, if you're not happy or if you're new to video editing, I hope by watching this video, it will help you to know what these softwares can do and you will get a better idea on what software do you have to use. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first software that we're going to see is Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro has a different set of tabs like you have the editing tabs where you can set your position, scaling, opacity. You have your color tab where you can adjust your different kinds of color adjustments. You can add different kinds of curves. You have different kinds of sliders. So the color tab will help you to give a different look to your video, a different kind of color grading. You can also adjust the tone it means you can adjust the highlights shadows whites and blacks so if you're used to photo editing you will be very easily using premiere pro okay premiere pro is a very very powerful software there are lots of tools for color grading there are lots of tools for other stuffs too not only color corrections but again if you're only in color grading you can also see this you have different kinds of video effects video transitions so there are certain inbuilt transitions in premiere pro again there are different transitions that you can create by yourself you can download other transitions so all these basic stuffs like audio recording even audio editing is possible in premiere pro so if you don't want very high professional level of audio editing you can do it here okay you can do basic adjustments in audio what else you can do is maybe you can change the speed you can do a different kind of a slow motion video so the main point of editing or the main uh, decision about Premiere Pro is what kind of editing do you require all this kind of editing that does not require any advanced manipulation or if you want to just do some cuts transitions use slow motion then you can use Premiere Pro the next software is After Effects now After Effects is very similar to Premiere Pro you get all the effects all the presets that is available in Premiere Pro but you also get other different features that are not there in Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro can't handle it but After Effects can. After Effects is like Premiere Pro on steroids okay if you're into photography think of it is like this Lightroom is Premiere Pro and Photoshop is After Effects so the right now what you're seeing is a track a motion tracking so all this kind of motion tracking motion VFX complicated animations and complicated video editing is not possible in Premiere Pro. It is possible in After Effects. Now don't get me wrong, okay? It depends. If you do not want all these features, then Premiere Pro is a great software. But if you want all these kind of features, different, more features, complication, complicated editing, I mean, then After Effects is a very, very good choice. You can see that the UI looks different and it's a bit complicated to use okay it's not very easy to use whereas Premiere Pro it's very easy to use just with couple of weeks of practice you will be good to go but with After Effects you have to spend some time you have to spend like couple of months or six months to master the overall interface and to get going with the editing interface and the editing workflow of After Effects but as I said, if you want those features, you have to use After Effects, okay? I won't recommend After Effects every time. You can also use Dynamic Link to create a Premiere Pro sequence so that you can edit the sequence later on in Premiere Pro. So now, if you have a video that is three minutes longer and there's a 30 second portion inside it and you want to add some kind of motion VFX or animation, what would I suggest is edit the rest of the part in Premiere Pro. You can use Adobe Dynamic Link to do it. And then only that particular portion, edit that in After Effects. Because After Effects is kind of a heavy application. It requires much of CPU and it is kind of, it will slow your machine down. So rest of the editing, you can do it in Premiere Pro and whatever animation or complex video editing stuff, you can do it in After Effects. The next software that we're going to talk about is DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, very, very similar to what we have seen till now. Very similar to Premiere Pro. Again, you have different tabs. You also have different kinds of video transitions. So nothing different from Premiere Pro here. Okay, there are going to be certain things which are more interesting, but these are just simple video transitions and stuff that you also saw in Premiere Pro. 
you have audio transitions and again different kinds of filters and stuff which you can also get in Premiere Pro. You have a dedicated audio effects section but other than that you also have a dedicated tab known as Fairlight. If you see this it's a very very different audio interface. You, If you are very serious about audio editing and you do not want to use a different software I would say use DaVinci Resolve. The Fairlight option that they have, the Fairlight tab that they have has a lot of options, has a lot of things. You can adjust a lot of things. You can tweak your audio to your liking. So Fairlight is going to be a very strong option. The main magic happens in the color tab. Man, the color tab of Darwin's Resolve is amazing. It is the industry standard. Many Hollywood, many Bollywood movies still use it. So you can add nodes and then create your final output. You can also kind of use certain LUTs. And then while using LUTs, you not only can use layers, that I mean nodes in DaVinci Resolve, but you can also tweak it. You see, you don't only have these sliders. You had these sliders in Premiere Pro too, right? But this particular things, these things which will help you to edit your colors in a very different way. Now, these things will take some time to learn, but the UI is very easy, very easy to understand. Just spend some time and you will be amazed how amazingly, how easily and how creatively you can play with the colors and change the overall look of the video. I am a fan of the color tab of DaVinci Resolve, you know. If you are making films, making short films, DaVinci Resolve is the best software for color corrections. I won't recommend DaVinci Resolve for normal editing, like for video transitions and stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's also good, okay? If you, if you have all those features that you want in DaVinci Resolve, then I don't think there's any need of using any other software. But especially for the color purpose and the audio features, DaVinci Resolve is a very strong option. The next software is Final Cut Pro 10. Now, as I said, the Final Cut Pro 10 is only for Mac. So in the Final Cut Pro 10, I won't say it's very different or you have tons of features which are not there in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro 10 are very comparable softwares. But why I prefer Final Cut Pro 10 in place of Premiere Pro, if you're using a Mac of course, because it's only a Mac ex exclusive software, that Final Cut Pro 10 is very fast, okay? You have all these kind of different transitions, different plugins. Of course, this all things can be done in Premiere Pro, okay? This is a per particular project of the last video that I uploaded on slow motion. If you haven't seen, you can see that video. So I have added a text animation, different kinds of transitions. So all the videos that you see now on my channel has been edited on Final Cut Pro 10. You have lots of difference of title animations. So these are certain things I like about Final Cut Pro 10. The overall video editing, the overall video rendering is so, so smooth and so very fast as compared to any other softwares that's in the list. That is the main reason I use Final Cut Pro 10. I found it very easy. I find it very convenient to use and it's less pressure on my machine and it gets my videos done very quickly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you guys understood what software should you use for video editing and you got a good idea of all these video editing softwares. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. If you love the video, press the subscribe button. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.